Alright, so um, the next one is from the arm drag. Anytime you can control the wrist, you can drag the arm over, you can drag it under. When you drag it over, all you're going to do is just use your legs, use your legs to get to his side and keep it crossed. Keep your chest up and your head up. If, if I stay hollow, his arm is coming back. Oh. But if I stay tight here, he tries to bring his elbow back. I just stay nice and snug, keep my head and my back straight, and hold this. So the first one you're going to do is you're going to reach under, and you're going to open and start to spin. Now, the reason I used to call this a ball sweep is because we try to put them in a ball, and we cross our feet, and then give a little rib cruncher. But this is the same sweep as we did earlier. And what do you have? Gift wrap, right? Or razor lock, or S-mount. You can just walk easily to your S-mount, and you got double trouble. Double trouble, too. Which arm do you want? Okay. All right, one more time. So you're going to go arm drag, come out, grab his lat, keep your back straight. The reason I'm going to do the first sweep is because he's going to push into me. So I reach under and I open and then I close, come up on the hip and keep my body weight down on him. This is easy for the gift wrap. Don't forget on the gift wrap, if his palm goes to the floor, you use that as a wrist lock. That's your first one. If you roll his knuckle, this is the second wrist lock. <laughs> if you want to set him up and, and go for a lock, you come up to your arm bar, and like yesterday, Master Higgin, you put your hook in, and you fold him and go straight down to take his back to get your short choke. Okay. Got it? So the ball sweep, uh, sorry, ball or flower sweep, some of you guys call it different things. So we're going to combine that with one other one. This one, here, cross your feet. Keep your back straight, come under, it's because he pushes in. Okay, but now, instead of pushing in, go back. I go to reach under his leg and he goes, I'm not letting him reach under my leg. So he brings his leg back. So now there's no leg. You're like, what the heck? So you gotta punch his wrist and straighten your leg. At the same time, you're gonna just take him the other way. Again, you have the gift wrap. Or the razor lock. Okay. So the sweep's going to go left and right. There's a lot more, but these are two really easy ways for you guys to get it. The second one, one more time, is because I got to here like this, and I went to reach, and his leg went back. I'm like, give me that leg. Push into me or something. And he doesn't. So now I straighten this leg out, and I punch his wrist together. And that's your, that's your sweep. Here's your gift wrap. S mount, base, on the S mount you can hook his leg and post, or you can even weave and post for balance. And that's going to give you this, it's also going to give you the bailout. One, two, three, fix! On the first one, when you straighten your leg, don't punch their elbow. Uh -oh. Punch their wrist. If you hit their elbow, you'll hyperextend their arm and you'll hurt them really bad. So make sure you're hitting the, the wrist off the floor, not the elbow. Ooh. All right, let's go. The sweep will give you this attack. And I like this attack. And I, I only, most of the time, I, when I do it, I only do the attack. So he's thinking that I'm trying to get to here, right? Remember, remember right here, if, he's, if his legs are square, I got to get the angle. How do I create the angle? Hips, hips. Pedal my bike. <laughs> so pedal your bike to get to the side. Good. Now, because he's camping, put your hand here. Now when he lifts his head up, he can't because your hand's wedged. Now that little wedge that you have here, just put your heel right there. Once you have the heel, there's your V-arm lock. You straighten it out, there's your straight arm bar. And then it can extend and do that, but now, now you got a couple options. But if his hand's on the floor, 
maybe I could slide in front, but maybe my legs are too long if his hand's on the floor. So look, you just kick the wrist out. Now you're back into the TP, the triangle, with the arm bar, the wrist lock, the big wrist lock, the forearm bar, the arm bar. So it's a sweet series to get this set up. You're actually attacking like you're gonna go into the flower ball swing. He's camping, he's, he's happy here. Remember when that leg goes back, he's going this way. You stay here, put your hand here. Now this is going to allow you to put your foot there. You've gotta squeeze, otherwise he's gonna rip that thing out and he's gone. Oh damn, I just passed my own guard again. Being so greedy, sorry. So pinch, okay, there's your V-lock. Just arch backwards. Because naturally he's gonna bend his arm and pull it back, so that's gonna be a, give you your V-lock. The second, if he pushes it, boom, there's your arm bar. Now you kick under, now you switch. That's a TP, reach. Now you switch again, kill the shoulder. That's your triangle arm bar. Your wrist lock, your outside wrist lock. Your forearm bar so he doesn't punch your face in. And then he hips up, heads it, heads up, boom, that's the arm bar. It's the entry though, that's the secret. So the secret is getting to here and then wedging. The wedge doesn't feel like anything, but that's the funny part. They can't pull their head out. They have to back out. But that allows you to create space and to slowly work to here. Now this is easy with your tight legs to get one of whatever you want. Okay, let's try it. If you like my videos, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.